and see it. They said he just clipped the hip or knee or something, and um, we got him out. Didn't seem overly concerned, but we got to look at him when we get inside. He said hip or knee? Yeah. We know that the uh, instructor is going to be for Thursday and Friday as far as, you know, which groups are going against uh, the other groups on the other team. No, and I, especially when practicing against another team, I, I'll decide that based off how practice goes. I'm a lot more into the practices when you scrimmage in the actual game. Um, so you see what you cover with the other team over two days, and you kind of play your reps accordingly to that. Nick Bosa won't practice this week, but will he start the team drills next week? That's what we're hoping for. You know, I think if we stay on track, I'd be, um, I think we'll see him next week. Juwan Jennings is a guy who didn't really light up the comp or anything, but when he's on tape, he just goes making plays. How did you kind of separate those two things and come to a balance to draft him and what you see from practice one so far? Uh, similar to what you saw in his college tape. You know, I mean, he was a really good college football player. You could tell how much he enjoys playing the game, how good his hands were, how physically he plays. Um, didn't light up the combine or anything, which we messed with him over, um, but that's his game. I mean, it's old school, and he goes out there and he competes, and um, he got a late start last year not having any offseason pandemic and stuff, but he came on really strong in like weeks four through eight, where we thought he was going to end up helping us a little bit last year, and then he had that bad injury, so it's been nice for him to get back, get healthy, and it was good to see him in his first game. That's how he looked in college. You guys have drafted a couple of like combine stars and kind of molded them into players, but how much of just kind of showing on tape being a good football player do you take into evaluation? What's the balance like there? Um, I mean, it's always going to come down to how good of a football player you are, but, you know, that's, that's the... That's the challenge each year on, you know, that you've got to have a certain amount of ability to get in the club, as, as I like to say, like with the NFL. Um, so you got to have a certain skill set that allows you to at least get in there to compete. Um, but if you do, where you go with that is how good of a football player you are, how hard you compete, how much you don't hesitate. Um, and Juwan, he plays like his hair's on fire, and um, I think a lot of our receivers can learn from watching him. Uh, speaking of those wide receivers, uh, I'll make a statement, and you can kind of go off that. It looks like four guys have really kind of separated themselves with your starters, Sanu and Sherfield. When you're, if that's true, you can, you can confirm or whatever. But after that, five and six, how do you see that competition going for those spots? Um, I mean, I think all our spots are open. I mean, I, I know we got the guys who, um, you, who are most likely to make the team um, at the upper spot, but on the guys that were dependent on how they're going to go, I mean, we don't have one, two, three, or four settled. Um, I got, and you guys know who's probably going to make it at least with those group like you're saying but um, those guys got to go out there and play I mean we had a lot of young guys play last year um, by, by default I mean with the injuries that happened some of the situ situations we were in so I'm um, one of those guys going out there competing showing they can play good football and I've been really impressed with um, Trent so far with how he's done that I've been extremely impressed with Juwan how he's gone out there and done that um, and it's only one game in but I need everyone else to get that level also. Did Javon Kinlaw have a setback? Uh, yes, yeah, Juwan hurt his shoulder last week. Um, it'll be week to week. Okay. That'll be out this. That'll be out there this week. Okay. It wasn't a setback. It was a new thing. New thing. Got it. Shoulder. Got it. Sean Coleman. Yeah, Sean Coleman um, hurt his knee in the game. He's day to day. How valuable is it to be able to have these practices against a different team? Uh, I think they're huge. I mean, you get sick of going schematically versus the same stuff over and over, the same fronts, the same coverages. I also think you get sick of going against the same guys, too, especially the players with that. So um, to be able to go out there and you have similar practices, but you get all new fronts, all new coverages, which takes people time to adjust to. And then being able to do that without having to cart up a period and stuff like that, which you start doing in week one, uh, I think is a huge advantage. And um, you can't generate everything in games either. I mean, you, you, stuff you hope happens doesn't always happen. And you can make sure you do that in practice. And when you're doing it against another team, I think um, that's why I put more into that than the game. Dan Brunskill's backing up in a couple of different spots and then obviously starting at right guard. Do you have any concerns right now about the depth at offensive line from first to second unit? Um, no, I've been pretty, I mean, I feel as we're as deep as we've been. You know, I mean, you have Dan Brunskill who's played every position on the field for us. Um, he's come in as a, earned his way as a backup, got to start um, a lot of games last year, at right guard, I believe, then at center. Um, but Dan's shown that he can start in this league. He's shown that he can play all the positions, and um, we're trying to figure out who our best five are. Um, when you have a guy like Dan, he doesn't have to be pigeonholed in one spot, so it allows us truly to pick our best five, and um, we're trying to figure that out, where we're going to put our backup tackles, where we got our backup inside players, and um, who's going to be those starting inside three also. How do you think McKivitt's played on 
Um, I, I, you know, I think it was good to get him out there to play some, you know, like guys that we haven't had doing that, you know, watching him play in a game. I thought he's improved from where he was at last year at this, at, when he ended football. Um, but I still want him to keep taking steps forward and keep getting better. Did Jalen Hurd have a setback? No, he didn't have a setback. He just, I think you guys know the deal with him. He yep. goes out as individual. I'm going to try to look into his knee. And I know that he didn't finish today because his knee was bothered. Okay. Um, hopefully I'll have a bigger day tomorrow and hopefully he'll get more in practicing with the Chargers. Okay. Um, I don't think they did. Today was a hard day because half your team, you know, the ones the ones who played only had, you know, nine reps almost, you know, just a, for a guess for all of them. And then a lot of ones didn't play. So um, some of the ones have had three days off, so it's real important to go out there and get a practice for those guys. But some of the twos and some of the threes are less than 48 hours away from playing. Um, so you're trying to balance that out. Ones had to do it. Some of the twos needed it. Um, but we didn't have any rest for threes today. What, what is the plan with Seth Bell, and why didn't he, he play in the first game? Um, just because you can't play all four guys, um, so we take turns doing it. I wanted to make sure Josh got um, some playing time. I didn't want him to go in one series and then put the other one in, so uh, he got the majority of that. So um, the next time that we get to our third guy, that'll be Nate. Okay, two more guys. How is that Fred and Garrett doing? What's that? How is that Fred and Garrett doing? He's balling. He's representing Mexico well. Uh, he's doing. He's doing a good job. We, we've enjoyed him here. Um, it's been nice. He's a big guy. I think he's getting used to what we do. Um, you know, asking him to do some of the run blocking stuff's been new for him. Um, but he, he looks like he belongs, and uh, hopefully he'll get some playing time in there eventually. But uh, I've enjoyed having him. Anything else? Uh, Watkins is he going on IR? Yes. Yeah. So that's eighty-five right there. I believe so. I think we need one or one more by tomorrow. You guys, math's probably better. You gotta head start on that. <laughs> yeah, I think we gotta get one more by tomorrow. Possibly Does that include Webster? Uh, yes. Yeah, Webster was like this morning.